Yo, we are back in the vehicle for another in the vehicle impromptu video and this one another quick one and uh, I'm just wondering what you guys pay for transfers. You know, everybody knows a guy who does it out of his garage or his basement or whatever and uh, he either does it for free for you because you're buddies or real cheap like 15, 20 bucks. But if you're going to a gun shop, like an actual brick and mortar gun shop, uh, what would you pay for transfers? Is it 25 bucks still? Is it 30, 35, 40, 50, 60, 75 dollars, a hundred dollars? Where is the price falling for you at your local gun shops? And uh, not necessarily the good guy price because they know you, but the standard everyday price that everybody would get if you were a first time customer walking in. Because me working in a gun shop, it's interesting to see all these people spend more money buying the same thing online that we have on the shelf, spending more money, or you know maybe they save a couple bucks, but then by the time they pay the transfer fee, it's more money than it would have been if they just bought it from us. I don't understand it, and I don't understand why people don't ever want to shop local and support the mom and pop shops anymore. You still got to go do the the FFL paperwork, the 4473 at the gun shop. So what difference does it make? You're still going there. You're still going to spend the same amount of time there and most likely spend less money there. So I don't know. Leave it in the comments section below because I've been seeing a lot of people screw themselves lately buying a gun online and then having to pay for transfers. So I don't know. Let me know. Appreciate it. And uh, don't ever forget.